MDRC is a nonprofit research and evaluation organization, and uh, I head up a unit that's focused on post-secondary education. Most of our work uh, is actually centered on community colleges and trying to evaluate the effectiveness of strategies to help students uh, have better success in college. So in the early days of Achieving the Dream, MDRC was invited to become the evaluation partner. Um, and from those very first conversations, we've worked with Lumina Foundation and the other partner organizations to uh, design an evaluation to look at the effectiveness of Achieving the Dream uh, and also to provide formative feedback along the way to help improve the effort. So over these years, um, looking back on uh, the growth of Achieving the Dream and, and now the, this mm -hmm. being a separate organization, how mm -hmm. do they fit into the landscape of community college completion? I think, uh, you know, Achieving the Dream has a very prominent role uh, in that landscape now. Um, and having been there from the beginning, I have to say it, it's uh, uh, a little bit amazing to see the development that has occurred uh, over these past several years. But uh, we began, as you know, with just a group of 26 colleges from five states that were involved. Uh, I honestly don't know what the current number of colleges and states is, uh, but we clearly have a critical mass. Um, what all of those institutions share in all those different places is a real commitment to using data to improve the services they provide to students, uh, to improve instruction, uh, and ultimately to improve student outcomes. So uh, it's very exciting to be here and see how these ideas that uh, really got started with such a small group have, have spread to so many. It really begins, I think, with a commitment by institutions to take a serious hard look at their own data to understand how students are progressing through the college to begin identifying uh, perhaps problem areas or weaknesses in current college programs and services where they're not getting the kinds of outcomes they would hope to get. Um, a problem that most community colleges face around the country is generally low graduation rates. Uh, it was believed for many years that a lot of students you know, took a few courses at community college and then went and finished up their degrees at other places. Uh, but a lot of national research has suggested that that really is often not the case. Uh, that students begin at community college, often get frustrated uh, or stalled for different reasons and, and end up never completing a degree from any institution. So now that we know that, uh, I think community colleges are just taking it upon themselves to uh, you know, bear responsibility for student completion uh, and to think about everything that they can be doing within their own institutions to ensure that either students get a degree at that place or that they're fully equipped to transfer and succeed at another institution in the community. I, I would agree that access is not the principal problem uh, any longer. Um, if you look historically, there's been a steady rise in college attendance uh, in the U.S. Uh, and also much more diversity in the kinds of students who attend college than was the case, say, 30 or, or certainly 50 years ago. Uh, that's all good news, and uh, you know we can be proud of that, I think, as a country, because that actually reflects a lot of policy decisions and the creation of financial aid opportunities and other things that have enabled uh, greater access. Um, but you know, as your question suggests, uh, access doesn't translate into success. So the fact that we're serving many more students of color, for instance, is nothing particularly to celebrate if those students are not succeeding and coming out with degrees. Um, and so it's that type of equity concern, looking at questions of how students of color are doing versus uh, white students, for example. Um, also looking at how low-income students are faring relative to high-income students. And this is where we still see significant gaps. And these are the kinds of issues uh, and questions, really, that community colleges are asking themselves as part of achieving the dream. Why is that happening and what can we do about it? What kind of... Um is there some innovations that you'd like to highlight that are uh, addressing the achievement gap issue? You know, I think this honestly is an area where we're still learning. Um, and there are, uh, I think, open questions about what kinds of strategies will, will work best. Um, I think it's generally agreed that the biggest problem, the biggest hurdle for students is in developmental education. And disproportionately, a lot of students of color, a lot of low-income students begin in developmental education courses. Um, so, you know, while there's not a, 
uh, racial or, or uh, any kind of overlay on developmental courses, uh, we see that they're not getting the kind of results that, that are desired, uh, that we need to be thinking about how to accelerate the pace of students through those uh, developmental courses so that they move to college level work much more quickly. Um, I think some colleges are beginning to think about other kinds of supports that might be uh, very targeted. Uh, minority males, for instance, African American males, uh, Hispanic or Latino males, sometimes feel more isolated on campus, uh, maybe less likely to ask for help. So maybe in instances like that with specific populations, there may be more targeted interventions that can help them discover their own community, um, help them get the extra help that they need and, and succeed on a, on, on a level similar with other students. Mm. Uh, what's, what brings you to dedicate so a large portion of your life to community college? Is there something that you're personally drawn to around that? You know, I, I think uh, for me personally, uh, the equity issue really is paramount. Um, I look back to my own college experience. Uh, in many ways, I was many I was very advantaged. I came from a family where college going was the norm. Um, I was a financial aid recipient. I received a Pell Grant. I got a lot of support over the four years I was in college. But I look at my experience relative to many students in community college who come from much lower income uh, backgrounds um, who don't necessarily have a family background uh, that's familiar with college or that supports college going. Um, and I, I just think, you know, those students deserve the same kind of chance that I've received. I know how important college has been to my life uh, and, and to the you know, career uh, path that I've chosen. So trying to think about ways to create similar opportunities for, you know, a much wider uh, percentage of the population. Great. Thank you so much for sharing today. You're welcome.